Hey, what's going on guys? Ellie Chang here with You Know Kelly. Hi. And you guys know us from that very famous viral video. Uh, I didn't know it was going to go viral, but the white woman making out with an Asian <laughs> man for the first time. Yeah. And the purpose of that video was to kind of just show everyone that Asian men are appealing because in the media, you almost never see an Asian dude with any woman for that matter. I mean, you just never see them. And so we're kind of seen as like these asexual, like zombie <laughs> creatures. Uh, so, uh, interestingly enough, like, I didn't think the video would go viral, but it went to like 500,000 views in like yeah. a week, yeah. which is crazy. And then what I didn't know until today was that half of those shares were by women. women. Yeah. Which is really interesting. That's kind of showing that women were kind of like taken by surprise, like, wow, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you should check out these Asian dudes, you know? Um, a lot of, I like a lot of them for Elliot. They were like, oh, can somebody make out with me like that? I was like, go Elliot. And I there's a few so. billion of us. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, we've got some uh, fan mails here that I haven't seen, but I guess Kelly's oh, seen. Oh, God, yes. So let's go through some Excited. of them. Here we go. Uh, oh, of course, the first one is that short Asian guy gives me hope. <laughs> I'm not that short. <laughs> yeah. He's tall. Okay. You know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, but it was it was awesome seeing that dynamic because so many people when when you put it's a tall woman next to a short guy you're just like oh god that looks awkward but then again ladies chemistry and how things roll out I uh, after that I was like damn he's tall to me exactly <laughs> be tall in the kiss me, yeah. yeah feel tall yes. in your kiss you it know? was perfect. Um, Okay, this and comes. There's no cramping. I felt just <laughs> fine. Okay. So. Uh, this one comes from a lady and says, I've never kissed an Asian man. Always wondered, wondered if it would be different than kissing someone who's not Asian. Mm -hmm. My conclusion after watching this video kissing is good. Why worry about the race or nationality of the kisser? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, this one says, Why are so many people confused? what this experiment was for. It was for people who have never tried kissing an Asian person. LOL, SMH, I still want a white girl. <laughs> that's okay. I want white girls too. No, I kiss well, thank you. There we go. This one just says, that's cute. The tall blonde and the Asian comedian seem to have good chemistry. We did. Yeah. Uh, they make a hot couple. I am. Oh, we do. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, and he uh, totally reached out to me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I wonder if they started dating after this. All right. Okay, fine. I'm going to give her a call. Jesus. And this months later, ladies. Months oh, later. Oh, wait. And this comes from Kelly's mom. <laughs> Very interesting. Damn it. Uh, this one says, now let's see a white girl kiss an Asian girl. Oh. Oh, wow. Please post that video. That's interesting. So genuine. Um, whoa. This one's a meme of Kelly. Oh wait a gosh. minute. Okay, I have to explain this okay okay it says wonder if this is what's going through her head when you said wet and slippery <laughs> uh if you're gonna put up uh this image it's kelly and she's thinking about a person kissing the alien, alien okay from the movie alien go, go ahead explain I didn't, okay some guys before they kiss you and i know women can relate even men can relate to this they'll lick their lips and they're just super saliva eat <laughs> So, come on, I totally I've had this. It. It's it's so gross. I just envision just like, just this dog. And I'm not saying it towards him, but I just, when you're kissing somebody for the first time and somebody, you're both nervous, you know, you, you're, you kind of over prep your mouth, <laughs> if you will. And I was envisioning the over prepping, over the, him just really just, let's do this, you know? <laughs> So that's what was in my head. I wasn't thinking anything towards race or anything like that. I was, every guy has done this. White guys have done this to me. Trust you know, me. I think it was an innocent comment. Yeah. Okay. I, I, mean, I loved the meme, you know. That's the funny. Asian kiss. Or the, the, the Asian alien kiss. The Asian alien kiss. <laughs> because it did really kind of, I was like, oh my God, that's kind of what I was envisioning. Yeah. <laughs> But now you know no you no, but now you know you're famous when there's a meme about you. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Oh, here's another comment on this. Uh, this guy writes, "She hopes it's not wet and slippery." What the hell does she think we are? Part <laughs> eel? Uh, no. Every guy, every guy. Oh, right. Man. I mean, to be fair, I did wipe my mouth with sponge right before we kissed. So. <laughs> he was drooling, ladies. Yeah. It was foam. Uh, this person says, uh, she says, this is so wrong, but funny. Glad I got myself a half Asian man. LOL. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. I don't know, <laughs> know what she's saying there. Uh, wow, there's so many. All right. Uh, this lady says, cat's out of the bag. Now I'll be trendy. Wait. 
This lady says, cat's out of the bag. Now it'll be trendy to date Asian men and there'll be less to choose for us currently enlightened white girls. LOL, hard, hard, hard. Yeah. Uh, hey, you enlightened white girls. Hit me up at Twitter at Elliot Chang. Um, plug, plug. Let's see. Uh, Asian men are white women's best kept secret. Mm -hmm. I love my little Pinoy. Once, <laughs> wow. Once you go Asian, you, um, well, there isn't anything that rhymes, but Asian it's good. persuasion. All right. Yes. We're becoming the next new thing. All right. Asian is the new black. All right. Uh, wow. Okay. This is a long one. Here we go. Yeah. I've been, wait, you read one. You read oh, this one. Oh, wait, you're so good. No, no, no. You read okay. one. Okay. I've been with my Filipino boyfriend for almost five years, but it was never a thing for me to be like, I've never been with an Asian man before. Oh. <laughs> I feel like she's mocking me. I know. Um, I've dated a half Armenian, half Italian guy, a Mexican guy, an Indian guy, a couple Caucasian guys. For years, I did say that my type is a tall Caucasian musician man, <clears throat> but I also wasn't leaving that type as my only option. For me, it was all about what I was attracted to, who I found absolutely attractive, whether they are Armenian, Italian, Mexican, Indian, Caucasian, or Filipino. It's all about the spark, those butterflies, and the first handshake, a first hug, and a first kiss. Amen. Wow. What a great... That's no a, wonder he gave it to me. He's like, that's a long No, I, I, yeah. <laughs> That, you know, as far as internet comments go, that was like very insightful yeah, and I genuine. Like that. that was great. That's it's, fantastic. That's exactly right. It doesn't matter what race you are. If there's the spark, the first kiss, the first... The, even the staring, you yeah. know? It's it's just it's just the sexual feeling. Exactly. So. Any any like you know non Asian girlfriend I've ever had, I really and I'm not saying this to be PC, but really like I'd always have to remember that she wasn't Asian because it wasn't what I saw. Like I always saw the person, I always saw their soul, their heart, I always saw our love, and I'd be like, oh that's right, she's like black, or that's right, she's Indian, or that's right, she's white, like that you know because yeah. that wasn't what defined her to me. And clearly this great lady is saying the same thing, so that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So, I like that. Um, oh, get, get that short one again. Yeah, no. I've said it. I know, I've said it many times, ladies. Once you go Asian, you don't go Caucasian. <laughs> yeah, there's the there's the half rhyme. There's a rhyme. There's a rhyme for you. Um, by the way, I I didn't know. I was really surprised until JT told me. Like, I didn't know there was there was a lot of backlash of people like you know what's the big deal? Who cares? And I don't understand because like you know anytime I've seen those videos for other races, you know mixing or kissing or whatever like no one really cared so it's kind of weird it's, why we got so much like publicity for exactly it was that kind of like everybody thinks these these politically incorrect things and we decided to show what people think and then if anything if that scratched the surface of people talking about it which is great but we didn't do it to make fun of anything yeah it was if anything it was an eye-opener on both parties you know, so it, it's somebody taking more confidence into it and a female like me who has, have never done that, why not? Why not experience that for the first time? And if anything, it, that opened my eyes and I'm still waiting for the call. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make out with a hot blonde. I didn't care about political correctness. Yeah, I wasn't trying to make a stance for anything. Uh, all right, so this one says... I guess they thought kissing Asian men would be different from any other race. LOL, there's two types of men in this world. Someone who can kiss and someone who cannot. No matter what race. That's slippery. <laughs> uh, there's guys who can fuck and there's guys who cannot. Let's break the stereotype, people. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Someone getting for real up in here. Damn, son. Um, Damn. So speaking of guys who can't kiss... Uh, Kelly and I are going to give you guys a couple of tips. Uh, so, what, uh, Kelly? It's a visual. <laughs> it's yeah. We're going to get a, hold on, give me the sponge. I don't want to be slippery again. Uh, but yeah, so why don't Kelly and I give you guys some tips of how to kiss and not mm -hmm. be one of those guys who cannot kiss. But I'll, I'll let the lady start first. Uh, okay. What kind of tips would you give? Um, again, that confidence is key. When you're going into it, don't go nervous and hesitant. Go with going, all right, you know what? I'm going to kiss her with passion. Don't go aggressive. Passion doesn't mean aggressive, okay? Two different words here. But definitely go in with confidence that, you know, this is this is something you both have kind of like now want and just go in. Go in with it. So 
That's that's great. That's perfect. I, I agree with that a thousand percent. And my tip is for people who are asking, well, uh, how do I know how much tongue to use and when do I use the tongue? <laughs> Uh, I don't believe in a crazy amount of tongue. Uh, back some, to wet and slippery, by exactly. the way. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I mean, some people are into a lot of tongue. I'm not. I'm into a moderate amount of it's tongue. It's like a peekaboo tongue. That's that's what I believe. I believe like, like oh, what was that? A little bit of a tip, <laughs> and it's kind of like a dance. I put a, a little bit of a tip, and then see if the person responds. Because some some women are like, I don't like tongue at all, yeah. and you don't know that. You're not going to ask as you go in like, can I use some tongue? Yeah. You know. So I use a, a peekaboo tongue. That's you perfect. Could, you could kind of tell if a woman's really kind of wanting that because she opens up her mouth. You know? It's a dance, people. It's a dance. Exactly. <laughs> you just have to take the lead a little bit. Yes. A little bit of a poke. And again, <laughs> in the mouth, yes. and a little bit of tongue poke. Oh, God. Uh, this is going to go very, uh, very bad. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but I've always noticed when I've done that, a little peekaboo tongue. Yes, if a girl is into that, she'll like, you know, hit you back yeah. a little bit. And you go back and forth. She'll dance. She'll meet you in the middle. Exactly. Uh. <laughs> exactly. And uh, the third tip, and I think the most important tip is especially for the Asian dudes out there, and if you're dating non-Asian women or Asian women, my big tip is you should always go for the kiss if you feel like she's receptive to it. Yeah. You know, because yes. a, lot of, a lot of Asian guys might be too much of a gentleman or too passive, or it's like, I'm just going to shake the girl's hand at the end of the night when she's clearly giving you signals that, hey, like I'm into you. I could be open to like a kiss or maybe even a pet. The reason I think it's important to always get a kiss on a great date mm -hmm. It's because sometimes, you know, one, uh, if you don't kiss her and the girl wants you to kiss her, she's going to think, oh, I guess he doesn't like me. Exactly. You're setting yeah. the tone with Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes a girl's on the fence. She might be like, you know, I mean, I had a pleasant time, but I don't know how I really feel about this guy. She doesn't actually know she has passion for you. And the only way, guys, to unlock that passion is to kiss her. Because mm -hmm. there's no other way to test chemistry. I'm sorry, there's, you could talk each other to death. But without touching each other and getting the warmth yeah. and that contact, you don't know how she feels about you. And sometimes that unlocks passion and chemistry in both of you. So. I'm, I'm like just in awe. He's just reading me. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> That's exactly right. It's a, I, I, I always say that. But being very key to this whole discussion, guys, don't be a creep. Yes. Be sure she's receptive. Mm -hmm. uh, if she's clearly giving you signs that I'm not having a good time or, you know, I don't think I'm open to a kiss. And, you know, sometimes the signs are just like, you know, yeah. like sitting like that. Exactly. Don't. Her body language is more kind of like facing you. Right. She's touchy. Those are good signs, guys. And so when you, when you feel that and you're like, okay, I feel like she is receptive. She will. And when that kiss happens... Trust me, a sign that she's not is this, okay? Or the exactly, third. exactly. But she will lean back in. So don't have fear about it. Again, confidence. But don't be creepily aggressive yes. either. Like, <laughs> if the girl gives you the pullback, don't be like, no, 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 no. We're going to kiss. Watch for the signs, guys. Yes. And I'm, you're, you're right. Like, I, anytime I've kissed a girl, it's because she was giving me great signs. Like, sometimes a girl just say, I'm having a great time. Yes. She'll say that a few times. Like, that is, hello, I'm open. That <laughs> is a sign like i'm having a great time not oh, one of these yeah exactly she's like on her phone all the time yeah, that's a bad that's sign a bad but one. but look out for the signs guys mm -hmm. but uh and if you don't know what the signs are and if you don't know how to pick up on those and you don't know how to kiss a girl maybe you look at some of jt's videos or check out his boot camp saying, just saying that he did <laughs> So anyway, guys, I hope this helps Asian dudes to be more confident and mm -hmm. to be, you know, more assertive and believing in themselves, as long as you're not a, being a creep. And for every other uh, race out there, maybe, you know, if you have been looking at Asian dudes as passive and non-sexual, mm -hmm. maybe you realize, like, that's not really the way it is. That's just kind of the way you're looking at it. But anyway, uh, you guys... Yeah, change your way of thinking. Change your way of thinking, guys. And anyway, uh, you can find me online at Elliot Chang. Just... Google that on any social media and pop up. And Kelly, where can everyone find you? You can find me Facebook and Instagram. It's Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y, Carmel, one word. And also Snapchat. Forgot I'm on that. <laughs> I swear I use it. So, yeah, you can find me on there. So check her out and check me out and we'll see you soon, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so cheesy. Hey there, thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. 
Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back for that every Monday. Oh, and if that's not enough for you, remember that for the last 10 years, the ABCs of Attraction have been the finishing school for Asian gentlemen. So we've been teaching guys how to be better boyfriends, more confident, and better husbands. If you need that extra push, you can enroll in one of our classes. But until then, we'll see you every Monday. Bye.